the, the action parts that I could. I don't think that's really my forte. There's probably someone who could do much better with that. All right, anyway. All right, cool. Unfortunately, you have to wait for a lot of these things. Is yeah, life split is a mech. You have to give like some of the cutscenes like a second, and then you can skip them. It's kind of weird. What's fun about this too is that you, you might think I'm just going to be doing this pause and skip for all of these, but there are actually parts I have to still button mash through, <laughs> especially the combat parts, dialogue in those. You can't just go through. And then typically the way that any dialogue with, um, with like conversation in it works is that you have to skip the first half of the conversation to the choice, make the choice and then skip the back half of the conversation. And we have to do all these dialogue choices. Cool. Cool. I do accept. Talk to Kaoru. And of course also when you when you change like cameras, you definitely want to skip again because it counts as like a different dialogue. Some dialogues you can't pause and skip Sorry. out of. <laughs> Look, there's gonna be cool mech action, okay? Give me a break. Oh yeah, Diego did Diego did a bad. Diego's in trouble. Yeah, Diego, so Diego ate compost and then pooped himself and then and then played with the, the compost poop. Classic, classic Diego. All right, the archives. So you. Eh, so 
See, I like to believe that dogs feel bad about when they do stuff, whereas I don't I don't think cats feel bad ever. Cat cats are like, actually it was your fault for having me as a pet. All right, time for the next part of chapter one. Some of these chapters, like just by virtue of having more choices are sort of longer. Uh, thankfully, some of the later chapters are more action than, than dialogue. Yeah, I mean, all cats are predators. A cap. All right, so we need to talk to at least like two people besides Itsuki. <laughs> My guy does murder. Spoken like a true spy master. I'm sure CIA agents say that all the time. If Sam Fisher does murder, at least he isn't bringing it home. If I put extra mature cheddar in my carbonara, will the food please get you? Yes. Honestly, if I ever did this again, it would probably have to be on not a <laughs> not a, a base PS4. I mean, if this released on PC, that'd probably be the best. I mean, either that or if it ends up being like PS5 backwards compatible. Oh, what am I doing? All right, now we have to go talk to Hatsuha. She's in the parlor.
I'd be curious if this comes to PC. I imagine they're probably just waiting to see how successful it is. As opposed to like at this point, a lot of the Yakuza games are probably safe locks for PC. So here we do have to investigate the bath before leaving. We can't just turn around and leave. Even in the speed run, this goddamn clown has to go to the bath. Can't skip out of this. You have to wait for this dialogue prompt. It's fine. I'm, yeah, it's fine. It's all fine. Yeah, thanks for the good luck, Zero. This is, uh, <laughs> this is a real choice I'm making in my life, but I wanted to do it for the meme. <laughs> Oh yeah, I saw that. I, I I'm not gonna. Say, I'm, he seems to be a little, little bit of an edge lord on his Twitter, so I'm not really surprised. Uh, this is currently PS4 only, yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, I saw someone sleuthing about that, thinking that that was the, the possible reason. I mean, he's also, he's also been, uh, what's he do? He, he posts, uh, like, he's, like, for, like, a thousand days running, he's been posting a picture of a... Of some some smut and like hashtag Trump, <laughs> which is I don't know. I I wouldn't I wouldn't ban someone over that, but like it's certainly a life choice <laughs> to be doing that. <laughs> All right, you have to go into the team status at least once. Before before the game will let you proceed. If you try to resume right away, it'll be like no, no nerd. So in in these action parts, if you're in like the the like gameplay camera with like these pictures in the top left, you you. You can't, you can't, uh, pause and skip out of these. You have to, you have to just mash through the text.
Uh, I'm bad at action games, but it's okay. We're getting through this. <laughs> All right, Yaksha shows up, does bad stuff. We continue on. But yeah, for sure, if this if there's a PC version or if it's backwards compatible on big PS5, I could I could see myself doing this again with like vastly improved load times, but probably not in this format. <laughs> I did spend a little bit of time seeing if I could get past some of these barriers, but I couldn't find anything. Yeah, I mean, the, the combat part, it's like fun, it's simple, it's not, you know, this is not, this ain't no Devil May Cry, but. It's a cutie. Shanghai combat review, more like snooze alarm. Fighting those defenders is always weird because like it, it seems to care more about like your position relative to the enemy than necessarily like where you're encountering their hitbox. It's one strange. Uh, I think it is digital release. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. What? Really? Oh yeah. Okay, there's a dialogue here. Whoopsies. <laughs> I thought this was wasn't dialogue. I mean, wasn't a choice, I should say. Yeah, <laughs> can't do that right now. It's true. That was pretty clean. Sucker got the last one. It's nice when the AI actually does stuff.
この空間を作り出したコウモが必ずどこかにいるはずですねそいつを探し出して倒せばその空間から脱出できるはずよ。<laughs> so they're supposed to give you the tutorial prompt, but thankfully you can turn off tutorial prompts, so that makes life a lot easier. Then we gotta get these three guys all the way over here. So this is the part where you really want to try and not knock enemies off. So I want them to focus on aerial combos. Uh, it's Dynasty Warriors. Oh, <laughs> that was cool. I've only ever actually done one of those to, to get a slow mo. I accept that. But no, this is not this is not deep. I apologize. I know you like the deep combat. But yeah, it's like you have the you have the, ma the main attack button and the heavy attack button and you can do like one one regular into one heavy, two regulars into one heavy, three regulars into one heavy and you get different attacks. You also have the aerial pop up attack, so like exactly Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, I won't give up. I will skip this though. And he's gone. He's gone. And the fight. Okay. Yeah, Soccer Wars theme is a really solid song. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, 
Oh, Yaksha's doing evil stuff. Next time. On, we finish chapter one. I'm just gonna split when that screen appears at the end, I guess. Well, except for the last split, and I'll sp I know where to split for that. Let's put on a show. Hey, traitor. Oh, that's right. You can skip that. You just can't skip that during that, like, that first animation. Blech. Yo. All about that butt. Speaking of butt, Reiji. Hey there, my my one true pairing. How's it going? All right, now she needs to tell us about Peanut. Self-destruct weapon. Press the big route and button, <laughs> boom. Press button. <laughs> Do it. Bawood. Got to admire the technology. Alright, so I think now we need to go to... Yeah, the hangar. Yeah, I'm just checking in on my bro. So now we have to do the uh, the peanut promotion the first time. Come on, take my take my right deep ad input, please. Oh, woot. just boot. Go back to my room. So that's the first part of chapter two. Inputs, what are they? How do they work? それ。here, have a snack. 
No, no, no Koi Koi. Never Koi Koi. Does not look interesting. Don't play games on your phone, people. It's bad for you. Especially not card games. Alright, so now we gotta go to the stage. <laughs> Applesauce? Is it about family, Vin Diesel? I, I, I love Xavier Nelson Twitter. It's so good. Vin Diesel, you can't just say everything is about family. Vin Diesel points at a seagull. It's about family. I'm gonna when when airport uh airport for dogs comes out or airport run airport for aliens run by dogs what's the name I'm gonna play that hundred percent we're gonna play the hell out of that beds calling. Yeah, so you have to go to team status again just because Anastasia and Azami are introduced. And I think those are the only times the game forces us to go to team status. Oh yeah, this is where we get bodied by Sakura and Hatsuho. Then we have to talk to everyone. Oh, the dog dating sim, yeah. So we have to talk to everyone here. Most of the choices don't matter for building trust. Uh, I think Clarice and Anastasia's do. Yeah, I mean, a lot of indie development's gonna be getting pushed back right now. The one thing I know, it's, it, you know, one of the sad things now that I've been become more conscious about following indie games is just that, you know, some indie games just don't ever get made, um, which is a bummer. Like, I, I keep checking to see if there's any updates on Mecha Puppers, the, uh, the strategy, the Mecha strategy RPG dog game, and uh, they've been radio silent since since last year. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm concerned. Check their website. Check their social media. Yo, sup, 
Mammoth. How's it going? Welcome to the New Game Plus run of Soccer Wars. There's a lot of me skipping skipping cutscenes and knowing where to go. Yeah, no, I've been trying to keep an eye on Mecha Puppers. Because uh, they don't even have like a like some some of these indie games. Uh, how much carries over? So it's, the big things that carry over are your trust, um, like your amounts of trust. So that affects your amount of damage. So that's it's pretty good in that way. Oh no 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 no! Sometimes you have people who try to like sucker you into drive-bys, and you gotta be like, no, no thanks. Guess it's not my business. Bad news, lemons and Ginza. Unfortunately, these raids seem impossible to avoid. So I guess still do some quick combat sequences. The good news though is that we do have, uh, you know, more damage. I thought, the I thought for sure. <laughs> thought for sure my hitbox would extend that far. Got him. So yeah, the extra damage makes it a little nicer, but I wouldn't say it's not like a huge amount. It's not like I'm just instantly nuking everything, but it does make some of the, the, the fatter enemies easier to take down. Lemons and Ginza. You heard the lady. I feel like chapter two is one of the longer chapters in terms of text stuff to do. There's that, there's like, this chapter two might be the chapter with the most intermissions in it. Nope, nope, you can't sucker me. <laughs> Drive by conversations. Uh oh. Yo, new Steam Monthly about all the, the video games from your favorite video game company. I guess Steam makes, uh, Valve makes video games again. We can say that. done 
fat sound. I really like. I don't know. I don't know how many people here saw that Animal Crossing uh, music video or the the musicians did edit. Legendary flugelhorn player there, absolutely killing it. Flugelhorn tone is just sort of like an art unto itself, because you you get a wide variety of tones from people playing that. Like the most famous flugelhorn stuff is the Chuck Mangione stuff, of course, but. <laughs> Oh, FFZ broke? Is it because of Twitch stuff? I assume it. Usually it is, right? Especially of all the changes in the in layouts and stuff uh, for channel pages. Not hiding offline channels. Oh my. Oh, uh, where am I going? Shit, I'm going to check in on. Oh, on Ginza. Oh yeah, I have to go talk to everyone, right? I think. Okay, I think we need to go out to the lobby first, and then I'll hook upstairs. Oh no, don't investigate the books. Talk to Komachi. Oh yeah, and I think Sakura is in here on the second floor in the balcony of the theater. What's what are the hot takes about the uh, the Twitch Twitch layout changes for the channel pages? I like some of the things. I think the schedule stuff looks really nice. Uh, but like some of the links, like like videos are kind of hidden. Like I, Retrograde Tom was saying this the other day, and I agree that when a channel is live, the button to find the the channel's past videos is like super hidden. It feels like, or at least it just takes too many clicks. Right, you have to open channel info, yeah. Yeah, that could be it. I, I've definitely seen that not everyone has it yet. I mean, I had looked at it a few times in beta, like when it would prompt you on the on the dashboard to look at it in beta, you know, to look at your own uh, new channel layout, but I hadn't really done more of that. I don't know. I still, I don't like trailers. I, I don't think I've ever watched a channel trailer, which makes me, is like the main, the main motivational killer for ever making one myself. Is I've never like not on not on YouTube, not on uh, uh, up any podcasts. Like I've just never never done it. <laughs> and, uh, I I don't know who who would watch a trailer. Maybe I'm just an idiosyncratic weirdo, which is very possible. Because believe me, I, I love the idea of things that help you, uh, you know, introduce, introduce yourself to new audiences, but I just don't know. I don't know that that's a method. to the last last intermission of chapter two now we gotta get through the date and the uh the combat
So one funny thing we're gonna do here is to to avoid further dialogue choices, we're gonna just ditch the uh, fortune teller. <laughs> just, we get we get like minus one trust, but it honestly doesn't matter because I'd rather save the time. I mean, I th I thought I thought for sure the fortune teller would be like an evil baddie or like later be revealed to be an evil baddie, but I don't think this ever comes up again. I could be wrong though. Maybe I'm maybe I did a bad a bad job of understanding the deep lore. Oh, there's Obero. The name Obero just makes me think of Sparrow every time I see it, like the 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 airport pizza chain. Gotta go save her. So Clarice uses book magic and she feels bad about it because she thinks it's cursed. Turns out book magic is actually seriously cool. Remember folks, knowledge is power. Real anime power. Yeah, the other half is just, I don't know, bring, bring a Big Mac. Yeah, leave it to me. I got this. Yeah, your power is incredible. Don't overdo it. So at this point, we're pretty close, I think, to getting to the uh, the next combat part. Yeah, flower division, move out. No, the game does not have a page on speedrun.com. I have been <laughs> I've been checking like every day. I had someone come into chat like a week ago saying that they did like a seven hour New Game Plus run. Uh, so I wasn't sure if they were gonna, if they recorded it. It didn't sound to me like they recorded it. So I don't know. You know, I wasn't sure like how serious they were about that. I certainly am not gonna insist like, oh, you gotta record all your stuff and you gotta submit to the leaderboard. And you know, it really makes you think if you're, uh, if you're, uh, you know, whatever. Like, just do your thing. I'm, I'm not here to judge people. It's true. Judge Dredd is Judge Dredd and Executioner, so... Oh, that guy came out swinging. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I mean, if you like cheese, the like some of Stallone's movies are maybe like some of the finest cheese ever made. Like Demolition Man also is right in there. I keep thinking I can skip during. The, once you're in combat sequences, only specific cutscenes can be skipped. Like, nope, not even that one. It's generally if people are talking and they're not in the upper left hand corner, you can skip it. Yeah, Carl Urban Dread, like a legitimately good action movie. aerial enemies is <laughs> uh, you can there is like a lock on in this game but honestly it doesn't work that well it was actually only added in a patch and it's sort of a quality of life but not really it's weird i don't know yeah you could do a lot with dread So that was the first part. The thing we got to remember here is that we really need, um, we need for both, uh, Sejiro and Clarice to have meter going into the last part. Nah, there's no breaking stuff. I try, I look for like getting past barriers and stuff. But mostly, the, m most of the routing is, was just saying, like, what's the least amount of stuff I can do? I don't think I found anything super great. I mean, I certainly, I think, found, like, <laughs> I found how to reduce some sections, but you could probably reduce some more. I don't know. I feel okay with my first pass, but I'm sure you could do more. Yo, see you later, man. Thanks for hanging out. That's good. Yeah, so then these crystals show up. Now we have to fight a bunch of these. Which is okay, honestly, because they give they give a ton of meter. So we want to fight these anyway to recharge our meter. We could just run around at a certain point, but... I'm going to use them to rebuild my meter. 
Yeah, there we go. All right, so now I can just run around. Now that I rebuilt my meter. Yo, Clarice, she ain't like you, buddy. She uses her special attack. Evil books. Book is evil. Blows up everything. Confirmed. I still need to take care of these guys. So then Obero finally shows himself for the first time. Now we need to switch over to her. Yeah, we stand together. Then we blow him out of the sky. And then we rush him down and hit him with the other special, and that should blow him up pretty quickly. And he's gone. <laughs> See you later, pal. Goodbye. Now I can skip. You can forge your own future quietly. They put on a play. Everyone loves the play because theater is fun. Which Tales games have I played? I have played uh, Tales of Destiny on PlayStation 1. Uh, I have played Tales of Symphonia. I played the PC version. I have played uh, Tales of Zisteria, which I also played on PC, and I have played Tales of Bursaria, which I played on PS4, I think. So four, I think, right now? Yeah, I mean, you can look at the list to confirm, but I'm pretty sure those are the four I've played. All right, and cool. All right, that's chapter two. Hoorah. Time for chapter three, a festival of peas. Delicious. Let me skip the cutscene immediately. Okay, so now there is dialogue. Let's give it our best shot. Oh, 
I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I I think some of the later ones, like the last three, definitely won't. But uh, yeah, me, our mighty leader. As I said, my estimate for this is three to four hours. So. Believe me, if it was shorter, I would <laughs> I would consider doing more. Yeah, sub Zion. <laughs> Get your dirty British hand out of here. Can't wait for... Can't wait to make you all Brexit the tournament. Yeah, this isn't the time or the place, Lancelot. How long is this run? We're gonna find out, Zeon, together. That's the journey that we're on right now. Yeah, <laughs> much like people building their own rockets to see if the Earth is flat. <laughs> oh boy. I'd be curious if you could break. I mean, so right now, I there's no tech that I'm using. There's no glitches as far as I know, besides just, you know, attempting to route good. Oh, he's in the parlor. <laughs> yeah, we're the ones protecting Tokyo. Uh, did you? I mean, you can try the pitch again. Oh. <laughs> However. It is four breakpoints. Oh, are the, oh, there's the unscapable cutscenes or something, or or you just mean that you can break up because it's like the the times are counted separately, and so the times are summed up at the end. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I got you. Yes, yeah, upscaler, how's it going? So now we need to do a bunch of rigmarole with getting a four leaf clover. So 
So the thing we actually have to do is find the pieces of a note in order to progress. And I think the note spawns are fixed, so. Oh no, wait, no, it's, is it? Okay, yeah, there's the other torn note. And I think the last one, I think you need three pieces. Yeah, so that activates a cutscene. And then Chloe shows up and is like, you idiot, why are you looking for a four-leaf clover here? That's dumb. You dummy dumb dumb. Nope, Let's nope, not talking to you, hockey show. Then we gotta go to the park. Uh, and then the game wants you to spend time walking around the park, uh, looking at every little shiny dot, but you just have to talk to the girl who has the clover. Uh, I did, I, rat I ratted this. I, I did basically, I had made another PS4 profile and, um, And I did like one playthrough on New Game, so I didn't really know what would happen in New Game Plus, like how much would be different, but. All right, but we still have to go to the cafe and meet up with uh, Hatsuho. She's your best friend. Anyway, back to the theater. Don't talk to me, don't talk to me. Okay. Do you know why the captain is just running around the theater yelling, don't talk to me? All right, so the game's gonna to attempt to tutorialize us about using the combat simulator. Oh, I can just skip it? Wow. Wow, all right, new game plus powers. Okay, that's a, that's a lot of time skipped. That's good. I didn't realize, yo, shout, shout outs to whoever in Sega programmed that. I, I figured out like that you could just back out of it, but Huh, there you go. Well, you could start the training and go into the menu and skip out to the simulator menu and that would be good enough, but. Absolutely batshit insane. <laughs> Any more questions? You have to ask her every one of these questions. The game forces you to. By any more questions, I mean I have all of them and I can't stop asking them. Never mind. No, I have more questions. Yo, it's the bad guy. Yeah, we have good reason to fight. Oh no. Oh, I was supposed to go right. <laughs> Whoopsies. No, my trust. 
Can't follow my own notes. Bad speedrunner reset. Yeah, it, it is weirdly inconsistent about, like, when it will let you skip cutscenes or, like, when you have to mash through the dialogue or any of that. It's strange. It's very strange. But, you know, that's the life we live sometimes when we speedrun. <laughs> Did I? No. Well, because I'm skipping all the dialogues. The, the, main, the main times when choices affect it is when our branches... Generally speaking, I'm choosing dialogues based on uh, improving trust, because that's going to give me more damage. Because otherwise, you're just skipping dialogues. So it's not like that matters. Alright, so we won't take Anastasia. I'm gonna take Anastasia and Clarice. Just because they have ranged attacks, and so they're gonna help mop up enemies quickly. Also, aerial enemies. No, I want to talk. Damn it! I was talking to the wrong. I was talking to Samir. <sighs> One thing that I think might. It, I don't know, like, if there is a maximum to trust or something, because if you can do multiple New Game Plus playthroughs. Like, it would make sense to maybe have a file with, like, maxed out, but that would require you to do... I mean, I guess if you did multiple speedrun attempts, then eventually you would have max trust and thus max damage. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. No, this is not skippable. You have to mash through that. This is skippable. Whenever you, when you ever have a close up in a cockpit, that is usually skippable unless there's a dialogue choice. But like, if you, when you see them like this, that's gameplay. So you can't, you can't pause and skip that. Alright, so we're gonna run over and try and take any of theirs if we can. So now we're going to get... Where the, I haven't quite memorized all these patterns yet. I think we'll go this way. All 
All right, so that's pretty good. Probably won't make to it to another set of enemies. I probably should have gone straight back across, maybe. Yeah. I think maybe, yeah, it looks like there are more enemies on the other platform then, so that's probably the best way to go. All right, so new new enemy set. Here we go. Let's grab all these. All right, there we go. Round one's over. German football. Oh, those those wacky Germans. onto the top here. Yeah, Germany seems to do a pretty good job of handling things. So, I mean, shout-outs shout -outs to taking care of people. Hmm. I actually don't think I want to fight these guys. I think I want to go for more uh, quantity over quality, honestly. No, all right. I lied. Oh, it's so close. There we go. <laughs> bom, 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 bom. Yeah, we did it, folks. All right. So good news. It seems like chapter three is going to be shorter than chapter two. Thank God. Yeah. Eat. Oh, that's right. We have to fight them, but this shouldn't take too long. No, I should have done. I meant. I meant to. You sh you're supposed to parry on the wake up attack, really. No, I'm trying to do the dodge. All right, whatever. We'll just hit him with this. All right, yeah, <laughs> okay. Just take him into the corner and body him. Let's go. I'm probably just gonna do one run and peace out. Because honestly, the thing is, if I were gonna do more runs of this, I would need to get a um, like a system that could reduce load times just to make it less ridiculous for me. Um, like that's kind of the thing is I'm doing this on a regular PS4, which is like, okay as a meme. But honestly, if I really wanted to be serious about it, I would need to either be a PS4 Pro or, you know, there's a PC release or if it's backwards compatible on PS5. You know, like one of those things. It just doesn't make sense to be... Like something that's going to have so many load times just doesn't make sense to be doing it a lot on PS4. 
So the answer is I could see myself doing this again in the future, but I need to do it on a platform that's going to have better loads than a base PS4. All right, that's all right. So that was like a 20 minute chapter. That's that's better. Cheers. All right, so we need to talk to everyone. Yeah, I mean, any sort of disc-based speedrun, speedrunning is weird, and like certainly all of PlayStation, disc-based, and all like all with like weird console iterations and stuff too. I mean, honestly, the, the real solution is just to like, I don't know, have people be less weird about, uh, you know, using hard drives and stuff like that. Like if there are easily available modifications that make the system way more stable for doing speed runs, cough, cough, using open, PS, open PS2 loader, like just let people do it. OPL on PS2, like just improves everything. It reduces load times. It's well supported. You know, it's going to make your PS2 last longer because you're not worrying about disc read cables and lasers and, and the physical condition of discs. Just do it. Just do it. Boosting morale. A day in Tokyo. Wait, I need to go... Oh, I do need to talk to everyone, don't I? Or wait, can I actually... Hmm, I forget if I actually need to talk to everyone or... No, I think you need to get the phone call from him to, to actually skip it. I mean, in some sense, like, the, the difference between console speedrunning and, and PC speedrunning is that, like, I don't know... PC speedrunning sort of has always had this issue. It's just at this point, like, we all do it on hard drive, you know? So, but like, if you're running, if you have like a, you know, if you're running your game off of a, a you know, an older magnetic hard drive, you're gonna get affected by that. Yeah, I needed to talk to Clarice before I go down. Right, yeah. I mean, look, look at, look at, like PC speedrunning has issues. It's just like I think PC speedrunning has dealt with them a lot longer than consoles have. But like consoles are becoming more like PCs. Like basically, you know, like PS, the the modern PlayStation and Xbox consoles are just home theater computers essentially, which is fine. That's actually pretty useful. No, leave me alone. See, I mean, the good news about PC speedrunning, right, is that you can actually, like, fix your speed game if there's something wrong with it. Like Bioshock Infinite or... Or, yeah, I mean, any sort of game where they've made mod, like, uh, or, like, making new categories, like Titanfall 2, no cutscenes or whatever, fast any percent. Like, you know, it's, that's the good stuff. It's good. All right, so instead of actually searching for clues, we can just talk to him and told him we found everything we need. Found everything, folks. <laughs> uh, but Sejiro, you didn't go talk to anyone. I don't know what you're talking about. I found everything.
I am I am done questioning witnesses. I found all I could. Wink, wink. All right, back to the theater. I oh, know we gotta go outside the theater. They were wearing a kimono. They had a hat. They wore sandals. They were short. Probably don't actually need to do this, but I wanted to do it anyway. <laughs> Just. So yeah, you probably could have just actually actually clicked on whoever there and just skipped the dialogue. I wanted to get the suspect. It's calling. Okay, so yeah, now we're gonna get to the part where we have to do the, like the Azumi bit, where she gets uh, she she's a ninja. We learn about her ninja stuff, the nun the ninja life. That's right, we need to ask everyone about where she is. Oh, I forget wherever this all is. It's uh, Hatsuho, Sakura. Yeah, okay, so I just go downstairs. I did not write down these parts where it was like, talk to three or four people and then we'll let you continue. Someone shady's in the lobby. <laughs> Evidence of spying. See, this is also really funny too, because President G is accusing a member of our team of spying. And like, he's right. 
but he's also misleading us. Oh. <laughs> Skiller, please. Skiller, this is the one thing I have. Let me have this. to go to the bus stop uh yeah uh, learning how to quickly skip cutscenes is actually probably the most important thing you could do there is also fight better but yeah just play the game better is honestly kind of boring Why would you do that? I don't know. That seems like, that seems a counter to the entire goal of speedrunning. That just seems wild. Go in, do it. Ninja. Ninja. Are you even telling the truth now? All right. Does sound a bit far fetched. Far fetched is a Pokemon, please. Do you know why they don't let they don't let far fetched work in security? It's because he always get he always gets blamed for leaks. <laughs> yeah, everyone go to uh, w.leakspin.com. There you go. I gotta find where I am in my notes. Whoops. I got a bit lost. Anime, anime, anime. Yeah, you don't need a reason. It's thanks to everyone. No. Take this right input. So you can't actually do anything here. 
I'm pretty sure there's no way to solve this. You just have to let the timer out. I've tried now twice and I can't find anything, so whatever. Yo, you're a real ninja. It would be interesting. She's not a fake. She's a real ninja. A real, a real surf ninja. I don't take any used to. All right, so I think this that's the last intermission in chapter four. Come on, Ozmi, I need you to take that last ground unit for me. I was depending on you. <laughs> It's time for the snake. I hate this thing. Stupid snake illusion. What's up, Ops? How's it going? Welcome. Welcome to this experience. As far as I know, this is the first Soccer Wars uh, speedrun to be broadcast on Twitch. So, this is a, a novel experience. Perhaps uh, a one-time deal, <laughs> but we'll see. Hey, yeah, a visual novel experience. Look 
Like that. Yeah, as the game goes goes on, the combat portions, of course, are going to get longer. Surprise. No, actually, that's it. I need to go this way. Uh, and there's going to be like a Crash Bandicoot part where the snake comes at us. Man, Crash Bandicoot sure has changed. Yo, it's the team. All right, that we can skip. Get rid of these big guys as quickly as possible. Yo, I love to front for <laughs> I love to front flip. It's my whole life. It's my my reason D tree. Nope, still can't. Okay, this is still not a cutscene. She uses the powers, everyone goes down, he's revealed. Yare, yare. Yo, I believe in you too. Nope, still not. Nope. Give it to me. All right. So the issue here is I need I need more meter there we go to ferret the uh the baddie out. So right, once you once you body enough of the hands, he comes out and then you can Unfortunately, I don't have enough meter, which is... Are there crystals around here? No, there's no... Uh, I should probably route in getting more meter here. Because now we're... Now, now we don't have enough meter to do it again. So I think it's, I just need to destroy hands. This is unfortunate. See... Okay. I think the radar might actually tell you which one he is. So I think maybe I should have just been looking at the radar. I just noticed that one of them was indicated differently. Anyway, 
We finally have meter, and so he's super to death. See you later, buddy. Yo, S rank. Cool. So that is almost, that's almost chapter four. We're doing okay. Anime, anime, here comes the anime. No spies! JK, there's absolutely spies here. Next time on Sakura Wars. All right, that's chapter four. We are officially halfway through. I know, I'm super risky. It's The autosaves are unreliable, folks. Don't trust autosaves. Sakura. Leave her be. Imawa. <laughs> yeah, Diego is just conserving his energy. He put he put in a lot of work this morning. So <laughs> he's gotta gotta rest on his laurels. Kismo and Oscar, good tiny boys. She went to get sweets. Oh, actually, no, she went to the department store. Must become one with the peanut. It's the only way to discover the truth. Look at the department store. What we need to do is we need to look at the department store and then advertise, and that'll give us what we need. Because this will cause the crowd to like, I don't know, run in terror. And then we discover where she is, and it turns out she went to the bus stop. So we're gonna go follow her to the bus stop. Don't <laughs> right, yeah. Do not antagonize your neighbor's dogs for fun. That is, in fact, bad. So now we need to drink this brew that's going to make everyone look like Hatsuha. Pretty sure that's a cat on the left. So that's a real mood. None of these people are Hatsuho. They just look like Hatsuho. Hiromi, what did you do to me? Everyone looks like Hatsuho. Alright, can you go get her? I'm also happy that she had, like, the, the antidote for everyone looking like Hatsuho. Strange, but true. Anyway. So 
seem Please take my right input, thank you. Alright, time for a road trip. Yeah, so now we're out in the countryside with Sakura. Choo choo. 1940s steampunk, uh... Steampunk Tokyo probably has better trains than America, which is a low bar because America has crap trains. All right, you got to talk to her once and you're like, give her space. Actually, JK, don't give her space. Take the initiative. Yeah, this is 1940 steampunk Japan. That's correct. Don't worry about World War II. It never happened. Don't worry about being in the World Combat Review with 1940s Germany or anything like that. That would be not not worth addressing, folks. This is an alternate timeline. Don't worry about it. It's fine. See, what's funny, too, is that, like, the earlier games in the series are set, like, before this. You know, like, 1920s, 1930s, I think. But at this point, you're firmly in in World War II territory, so I don't know what you're doing. I mean, I guess if you have demons, perhaps perhaps having actual demons reduces the likelihood and existence of World Wars. Oh, come on. Please, give me the dialogue choice. Yeah, I held your hand. She went to the tree, the time loop tree, my favorite place. God, remember when there was time travel in this game? It was incredible. Yo, I promised to marry you. The, uh, by the way, the default option is to end up marrying Sakura. So uh, Sakura is the speedrun cannon. Speedrun cannon girl, just in case you're all wondering what happens in the speedrun, the answer is Sakura wins. Oh, whoopsies. Bad at following my notes. Burp. Yo, I could have taken down Yaksha. Some of that dialogue you can't even pause during. That I, I have to mash through it. That's perhaps the weirdest dialogue. Very strange.
神山君さくらのことを申し You're mistaken. I don't remember the context. Some of these conversations, I just do not remember the context at all. Rest in peace, the story. What's going on? Yo, stop it, both of you, please. <laughs> skip this. Skip this. Never play this again. <laughs> Delete the tape. It's a little space balls joke for y'all. Alright, so now we're almost to the Combat Review World Games Stage 2. She'll do the right thing. She gets it. Alright, so now we have to do one of those bits where we just check on everyone. Wait, this game... How did the game drop the ball at the end? God, do I even want to hear this? I'm not going to like the answer to this. You can already tell. Or is this you just complaining about time travel? Because I think the time travel thing owned. No, the time travel thing owns. You're wrong. You're so wrong. I can't even skill art. I'm going to have to travel back in time to let you know how wrong future you will be. That's right, I have to go to the courtyard. No, <laughs> you're definitely wrong. Nice. All right, to the combat review, World Games. <laughs> this is a cutscene, okay. 
Sometimes that camera angle is not, but I think once you see, once you see people on the field, you know it's this cutscene you can skip. What's your favorite time travel story, Skiller? I want to know. Steins Gate? Alright, fair enough. Go! Alright, time to go body the the British. Oh, now okay. <laughs> See, it's some sometimes you can skip, sometimes you're you're in uh, gameplay mode and you can't. I keep thinking I'm going to stun some of these guys. I keep getting bodied for it. <laughs> Guys are already gone. And I'm not getting enough points. I feel like I should have gone right. Ugh. Time is about to change anyway. Were there better targets over here? I don't know. Yeah, that's mine. <laughs> All right, well, no one's getting any of these. All right, where's the next, where's the next batch? All right. Yeah, here we go. This is what I wanted. I wanted these guys, these golden guys. Oh, we're so close. There's still golden ones over here. I might be able to clinch it right now. 
Mm. Am I really gonna have to wait for one more round to finish this off? Oh, there's golden enemies up there. Oh my god. I'm so. Oh, god damn it. There we go. <laughs> I was like, you clowns. Didn't want to use my meter, but here we are. Oh, damn it, he fell through. No! Oh my god, whatever. Get out of here. Alright, let's grab these golds. All right, I'm gonna go grab this big guy. And stop them from getting points. I think, I mean, maybe running more active interference is a good idea. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, Tournament Arc is fun. Oh, can I not? Ah, oh, damn, I can't actually use her meter. No wonder. I was like, I want to use her meter. Come on. All right, there we go. Body the uh, the golden boy. All right, so now we have the head-on fights. Rival 
クラちゃんはオーブをまだ使いこなせていない今のままじゃランスロットちゃんには勝てないぞさくら We are, I really, I took off a lot of health there. That was pretty good. Alright, so now we have to fight Arthur and the other Londoner. キャプテンロンドン歌劇団を倒して本当に私たちの勝ちになると思う Yep, so I'm gonna bring out the super right on top of his wake up attack so my iframes just eat his wake up attack and then I eat him Bye <laughs> Oh, he was in the middle of a wake up too, I didn't even realize that All right, come on, do your wake up. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good night. That's how the story ends. My name is Mordred. How you doing? <laughs> Transcend your limits. I totally forgot to use your meter. Whoops. All right, well, <laughs> oh well. I feel silly. Nope, still not cutscene. All right, well, that fight cleaned up pretty well. Still looking like a half hour chapter though. Next time on Sakura Wars. Cool. Nice. All right, so that's chapter five. Now it's time for chapter six, uh, which I think is gonna have a lot less dialogue in it. These, uh, these last three chapters have less dialogue in them. Come on. 
Christmas! Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. So we just have to head out to the front of the theater and do some promotion. She understands. Go back inside once you're done booting. You're the best choice. Don't worry about it. Sakura. So now she's in the archives. We gotta tell her to go rest and then we'll confront her. We'll always be here for you, Anastasia, even when you betray us. Get a well-deserved break. Yeah, Anastasia will never betray us. That's right. This is the part of the game where you would queue up your date for Christmas Eve, but... We're, we don't have time to date. We're speedrunners. She's got a gun! Bam, bam. Yeah, so if you don't have a date, you get prompted to go talk to Reiji. This is really, really funny to me that 
Oh, you didn't you didn't ask any of the girls on a date? Are you going on a date with Ragey? You look fine by me. But you're gonna say, actually, we, I don't want to go on a date with Reiji. Sorry. And then we can just go to sleep. Alright, the Germans are gonna get mind controlled. Sucks to suck. It's Christmas Eve! What? Really? Oh, you have to talk to her. Yo! Thanks, educator. How's it going? Thank you for the lurk and the bits. I'm doing my, my inaugural speedrun attempt of Soccer Wars here, which is a real experience, so... Yeah, yeah, no, enjoy it. Yeah, no, take that walk outside, though. I'm gonna be outside later. I was outside this morning as well. It's nice to be out right now, for sure. Alright, so we're closing in on the end. We got a little bit more uh, little dialogue, and then I think once we start pursuing Anastasia, we'll go into the combat sequence for uh, Chapter 6. Oh, yeah, if we get if we get stuck in the bath here. I forget why. <laughs> I don't know. Boat. Anyway, Reiji's gonna get shot. Sorry about that, Reiji. People, they go to sleep, they think everything's fine, and they wake up one morning and they're on fire. Damn, I thought that was the dialogue there. Oh, going after Anastasia. See some of the other combat reviews doing their thing. You are more important. Surrender at once. 
どれだけ人がある Cool. All right, so now we're in the combat sequence. What happened to Frankfurt? Why they concede? You know, what, you know what sport needs conceding? College football. <laughs> so it's like, oh, you're ahead, you know, five touchdowns. How about we don't have another 50-0 game or whatever? This is why I don't watch. I mean, there are many reasons I don't watch college football, but that's definitely one of them. I mean, the biggest problem with it, though, is that, like, it's it's a huge exploitation of the athletes. Like, it's really bothersome. I mean, I guess it's, it is uniquely American in that way, and that it is so focused on exploiting the labor of young people, many of whom will never go on to play professional, you know, level sports. But, hey, coach, coaches and athletic directors can make millions of dollars, and... TV people can too, so it must be okay. Sure, a lot, a lot of a lot of young men will probably have some brain damage, but you know, no big deal. All right, broke through there. I mean, the thing, too, also with American football is that you have to remember there is no minor league system. Like, that's one of the reasons that I think basketball and uh, American football have outsized college importance is because those sports developed later. Um, so they don't have the, like, baseball has a functioning minor league system that you know, you can go into directly. Uh, 
Well, like, think about people signing into, like, lower level soccer leagues or whatever, uh, like, developmental leagues, which I think is a thing, right, for soccer, that you can, like, you know, you're not going to get paid like a superstar or anything, but I presume, I mean, there's probably still some exploitation, I'm sure, but with, like, <laughs> with, with American college football, you get, you get maybe scholarship money, so, like, the cost of your education, but you got to remember that like top top level college football, you're doing you know you're you're doing practice <laughs> like it's not like you're spending all your time in the classroom. You're uh, really focused on being a you know a, a football player or a basketball player or whatever. And the other thing that happens too is that like some people are just so in love with this. So a lot of players, the players do, but like also like what's the value of that scholarship is my question to you, right? If, if you go to university and you spend all your time playing football instead of actually studying, like did you really get a scholarship? Maybe you got room and board, right? Like maybe that counts for something, but compared to the amount of value that coaches extracted, like, you know, millions of dollars a season, are you really getting like the value that you, the wealth that you created? No. <laughs> so players do get scholarships, but again, like that's not really you're that's still exploitative, right? It's like it's like saying like, "Oh, you got paid the minimum wage." That's cool, right? Like, actually, we made millions of dollars this year, and you should pay me more. Like, so, you know. It's not great. Oh, no, it's Anastasia and Yaksha. I'm trying to drink coffee. But I gotta, I gotta use both hands to skip cutscenes. Yeah, I mean, the specifics of it are probably unfamiliar to you, which is fair. Oh, well. Do you wake up? Yeah, there you go. Alright, we got her. <laughs> Stay free. Nope. X to confirm. Two more chapters. We're doing pretty good. I I think we're going to finish. I think maybe sub three thirty. I think that's my my guess right now.
Are you okay, my one true love? Alright, so now we have a dialogue where we need to do all the proms. We should treat her the same. So we gotta ask all the questions. Yeah, uh, she might have gotten she she got cut open by a sword. It was bad luck. I'll be the sacrifice, JK. Uh, Yaksha did that. Don't worry. We're going to get Yaksha. We're going to defeat at the end of this chapter. It'll be a good time. I refuse to follow this order. I'm going to get that sword back. No, okay, so this isn't. See, I can't tell sometimes when there's another break in it. <laughs> we'll go together. Move out, Flower Division. Cool. All right. Yeah. So as I said, this chapter also should be pretty short. I mean, the cut, the combat part's gonna be longer, but um, we're basically already into the combat part now. So that was like what, like four minutes of dialogue compared to a lot more in others. Uh, I mean, honestly, I think the PlayStation 4, the, the DualShock 4 uh, start button is actually pretty comfy. It's in a weird place, but I think in terms of like pressing it, it's not so bad. It's like a nice clicky, like you know when you've pressed it, right? Like that's a clicky chonker. あなたたちは、
あなたたちはいつもいつもうるさくて本当にしつこくてそして優しくてとうとう私の心に入り込んでしまったさすがのアナスタシアも腹組みのしつこさには本望でしたガトム Those, those spawn guys, the Ravagers, are annoying just because sometimes you'll, you'll like, lose one of them. <laughs> It's like, please. <laughs> She's like, use my umbrella, and I'm like, absolutely not. I must fall fast. There's like dialogue going all toward all during this while I'm trying to beat these guys up. Not that, yeah, this snake. Make this, delete this snake. The Hatsuho meme, delete this snake. You can jump over the snake by going up there. Ninjas, books, ninjas, and books. Uh, please advance. I'm killing enemies too quickly. Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I don't care if they haven't finished the dialogue. Spawn the enemies. Oh, he was still in a combo. Got him. <laughs> 
deleted. See, this is fine anyway, because we're going to be using Anastasia for the boss of this chapter. We actually don't even need her to have meter either. Timing on this platform. Come on. Come on. Yeah, whoever put this in the game is my enemy. My true enemy. Oh boy, I don't want to jump into that. <laughs> Pretty sure that would just spike me into the <laughs> into the lava. Not that that would be a huge like I would like die or something, but it would be it would be annoying. I don't want it. I trust her with my life. So yeah, we just take out Ubera with the with the regular gun. Yeah, no problem, Zeon. Enjoy your rest. I'm sure, I'll see you around. All right, no, the one, the real one is the one in the back. No, nope. oh god. Yeah. Okay, so you can tell from the radar. You don't even really need Ozzy stuff. Alright, cool. I should have noticed that sooner. I can't believe I didn't notice on my casual play. You can just look at the radar and you know which hand is him. Whoops. I feel silly now. Anyway, that was only like a, like a 15 minute chapter. Sass. I feel like if I had a PS4 Pro, maybe uh, maybe sub three would be possible. Probably not though. There's a lot to there's a lot of combat in the final chapter. It's a key. Well, we do have dialogue here at the end of se chapter seven, though, so it's not actually quite over. Obero gets murdered by Yaksha. Sorry about that, Obero. Better luck next time. The anime has been skipped. Look, anime isn't legal, so it's probably for the best that we skip it. I'm ready for the mission. So I need to choose a, 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 a deputy. I want to choose Sakura because she does more damage. Also, she's closer to me, so it's less walking. Sakura will be our deputy captain. <laughs> Boom. 
All this plot. Uh oh. <laughs> Damn it. It's like, look at your girlfriend, you monster. Actually, the end of the chapter, I think it was. That might have been. I'm going to split there just in case. Because usually there's a next time. Oh, you know what? It might actually be. I, I, all right. Uh, I'm going to skip there, but I might. I think that might. I think we might actually still be in chapter seven. I don't know. So there's parts here where you have to find enemies to unlock uh, magic gates. Yep, there you go. So you had to break that one. Oh no, it's the Berlin Combat Review. Oh, she still had her wake up. I thought she already used her wake up. No, oh, I didn't mean to bring that attack out. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? We got her. All right, now we got to fight Elise.
President Genie. そうですに操られているんだそれごとそのようなことがあるものかあああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ Nah, I'm being way too aggressive. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure I dodge into that. Oh. All right, we got her. Get out. There's a lot of chunky boys here. Alright, let's take down this big boy. Pretty sure this isn't the chapter that because I think the I think the chapter end is when you fight Yaksha. Oh my god. Alright, whatever. This is me getting greedy at platforming. Because when I do stuff like that, and I think I can just sort of like double jump into it. Forward momentum while jumping is uh, important in this game, apparently. So I gotta make sure I defeat everyone here because there's enemies are gonna spawn. And I have to get every single one of them in order to proceed, and my allies aren't gonna help me. Oh, 
<laughs> no, stop that. I need to kill you. Alright, whatever. Did I kill him? I did, okay. Fair enough. I'll take that. You love to see it. So I think the Yaksha fight is actually at the top of this elevator. Nope. I always get baited by that. Let's go. Oh no, I think I might have just thrown away my, my super. God damn it. I'm an idiot. I should have remembered to save it for the next chunk of damage. Well, I'm a dummy. Oh, 
Oh, is she not waking up? We got her. That, that spells success. All right, Fix. Don't worry about it. Okay, yeah. So here's the end of Chapter 7. Right. All right, so the chapter was a little longer than I thought. <laughs> it was, in fact, the longest chapter. Effectively, because it was like two chapters. Are we in Tokyo from the past? The Imperial Sword did it. Yeah, we're going to save the world. Yeah, we're closing in on the end here. Alright, so we're gonna get scattered to the wind. And then we're gonna get a bunch of cutscenes where everyone wakes up in different places. Yep. Oh. I know, I know where we're raiding. I don't care how, I don't care if I have zero viewers. I'm still gonna raid Plywood once this is done. Y'all can't stop me. He just started Metal Gear Solid world record attempts. You love to see it. These are not skippable. Believe me, I tried like a million times when I did my practice routing. So yeah, this this combat part is just a bunch of breaking open gates. It's just this bunch of small fights and then the big boss fight. Mm. 
何かを成すためなら命を懸けても構わないと思っていましたヤシャとの戦いで力尽きた時初めて死にたくないと思ったんですなんでこの子が死んだ子を見つけたのクラウン。So all these little September on array things are just we have to clear enemies to open up a, a point. Big meatballs. See, I thought Clarice would take him, but she just took a little slower than I wanted to. Anyway, that should yeah, it opens up almost the final point, which is up there on the hill. So we go to the point, and then that clears this small portion. And we go on to the next one. So here we have to clear enemies on this platform and then the one opposite the, the gap. Yeah, so we don't want to stop off here just yet. We want to go to the opposite one and get rid of all that. That'll activate the middle. Oh, 
Got him. Some of those boys are real chonkers. Cool. That's good. The one nice thing about text mastering is I can just do it. <laughs> So yeah, anytime you go to cockpit cam, you can skip that stuff. things about the big meatballs though is that it actually gives you a lot of opportunities to uh proc slow-mo which is pretty cool <laughs> this cycles on platforms, my one true enemy. This is why I can't play platformers as like a speed run. I guess this is this is part platformer, so I'm betraying myself, but sometimes you have to do it for the meme. Love to see it. Is that the the London combat review? Oh right, yeah, we're gonna meet her, these boys. going where are you going all right cool now, i think we have one more leg because we got anastasia's segment to uh to get through in this final final dungeon Could have out like dunked that after she threw the one at me. 
knocked it back with the attack. Shanghai? In my in my game? Oh, I thought I dodged again. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, oh, it's all. No, I screwed that up. Yeah, I lost my first jump. I think I was going to take the platform. <laughs> Alright, now that's a screen. I don't even know what's going on there. Oh my. Get out of the poison! What are you guys doing? Alright. So that should be... We should be getting close here. I think that is the last of the September round points, so now it should just be fight the boy. Uh, this is the one thing... This strategy for this fight is the one thing I'm not sure about. Because I'm trying to, I wanted to see if I can get the the dash off his uh, special, or I mean the um, the slow mo. Because you can hit his hand for some damage. And then when he does that, you can get up into his hand. Yeah, but you can't get it off the wave. You have to like get it off the, I think if you get it off anything, it's off of his, uh, him dropping the hand. See, so yeah, I'm tempted to use Sakura's meter there, but I'm not sure about it. No, I'm just... All right, she does damage. <laughs> Spoilers. Uh, final time will though be on the last input, which is our last uh, text input. So it is not now. Yeah, don't mess around with Sakura. She murders people.
Yeah, we're all, we're almost done. We got to do a few more a few more text inputs. But we're going to be done. <laughs> Yo, to victory. Almost done. We just got to run on the Sakura and tell her that we're done. <laughs> I'm declaring that the final the final time is when you give the final command for Flower Division move out. I think that is appropriate for this game. All done. There we go. 